everybody. Um, if I could ask for you to use the raise hand function, please. Um, we'll do the embargo for Sunday events on Thursday, halfway through. So just use the raise hand function for live events. Mark, please. Let's start uh, with Phil Collins. Hi, hi, Pat. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah, it's a couple of things. If you if could just ask you, I mean, we've asked you about him so many times. The performance of Kevin De Bruyne again today he just makes it look so effortless. Some of the things he does. Uh, and another one was, did you choose not to make any subs because you can allow people to have a break in midweek and and give the guys on the bench a game against Marseille? Yes. Is the reason why I want the players play. Yeah. Like the minute, most of them is not going to play Wednesday, and the guys didn't play going to play Wednesday. And I prefer today. And the play where the team were more or less good, and uh, yeah, I decide to, to to play 90 minutes in his legs and fresh 90 minutes for the rest of the players. And after that, we're going to see for the next games the best selection to to try to continue win games. Yeah, another question. We couldn't hear it at first. And, uh, and about Kevin De Bruyne, if you can just tell us a little bit more about his performance today. As I say, there are, sometimes he makes the ridiculous look effortless, doesn't he? No, he ran a lot. He has to run a lot. Yeah, he's the first guy who helped us with Gabriel to, to be intense without the ball. His, you know, capacity to see the personality of the penalty and the pass to, to Raheem, and we knew, we know it, so... We just to put him players up front to make a movement to for him. Um, yeah, just the last 20, 25 minutes, uh, he was maybe tired. He lost some simple balls, uh, but a part of this always, Kevin is a you know guarantee what he has done for this club the last you know since since he arrived here. Hi, Pep. You, you're very very quiet. I'm struggling to hear you. I don't know if it's a mic, an issue with the mic. Um, I, I, okay, I, I was just going to say, um, Raheem is one of those players that you said you wanted more goals from, uh, as well as other players on the side. Do you, do you feel you got a good reaction from Sterling today? No, Raheem always always try, always try. So I don't have any doubts about uh, what he has done so far. Of course, the strike is important to score a goal, and he has done so. That's good. Uh, next up, we go to Mike Manet from Radio Manchester. Mike. Hi, Pep. You, you spoke a little bit there about some of the players you'll get in for Marseille on Wednesday. How much is the derby now in your mind and the team you'll have for that and exactly who will be rested against Marseille given that game has effectively nothing hinging on it for Manchester City? Yeah, of course... In Champions League, we have done job, but we have prestige to play, some bonuses if we win the game. So it's a serious game. We have to respect the competition because uh, Marseille Olympiacos playing for the play Europa League. So and you have to do it seriously and are going to play seriously. That's for sure. And the players we are in the bench today could play today. And after this game, we are going to see what happened in United and the way we want to play. And after United, we have three days later West Bromwich and, uh, and a lot of games. But now, important is we can be focused in the Premier League, and we know. So we want to be there until the end. Win games, you have uh, or be part of the. You know, to try to win the, the Premier League, you have to win a lot of games. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Ian Whittle. Hi, Pep. Um, I just wondered, you, you obviously made such a, a fast start there and scored two very early goals. Is it a frustration or a concern that you, you didn't convert more chances? You know, that looked like the sort of game you might go on to win 5-0 like you did a week ago. Yeah, but the important is uh, I, I see the positive things uh, after the performance the last three or four years. Uh, sorry, three or four games. I see more positive things than the, the opposite. So... I'm incredible delight and more than happy for the performance we have done in in Portugal 
for the way we played and the chances we create and was was so good and today as well so we couldn't see few and Borley not one shoot and target or few today one and uh, Oporto one that is the, ba- the the important thing and uh, yeah we create enough so we will improve we know it but uh, if it helps us to win the games it's enough thank you Ian uh, next question <coughs> from Angin Hi, Pep. Um, in the last couple of weeks, the transitional game, especially, uh, has been much better and it was like really uh, free flowing. What's the role of Ilkay uh, in this one? The, does he make something different and more, you know, easier for you in a transitional game? No, Ilkay, Ilkay Gundogan was uh, is an incredible important player for us, for personality, especially defensively. Today was so good. Uh, today has to improve. He loses a lot of balls and simple balls. And a player with his quality, he has to avoid it. The central midfielders is important for our play. But uh, Ilka is a, an exceptional player, and in, in in all situations, can play more up front, more the holding midfielder. So it was good. Thank you, Ian. Uh, next question from Ian Kahale. 